Hello, good morning, students. Welcome back. We have come to an end of geography chapter number nine, that is life in deserts. In this chapter, we are going to see two types of deserts. One is hot desert as well as cold desert, with the help of an example. And we are also going to study the people, the flora, fauna, etc., of that particular region. in detail come on let's move on to the topics i am going to cover the entire chapter in one video only so let's go to the topics first one the hot desert sahara well first thing we have to keep in mind we the location of sahara sahara uh, is world's largest desert it's located in the continent of africa so there are two types of deserts hot desert and cold desert so it's a different thing you might be listening to for the first time hot desert as well as cold desert hot desert the term itself says the temperature will be very high whereas the cold uh, desert it shows that the temperature may be minus it's below minus also sometimes so come to the hot desert sahara sahara is the hot desert it is the largest desert it has an area of around 8.54 million square kilometer the sahara desert touches 11 countries so it touches 11 countries you just think of the vastness of the desert besides the vast stretches of sand so the sahara desert covered with uh, also gravel plains and elevated plateaus with the bare rocky surface so bare means entirely naked or everywhere you will be find nothing but uh, only uh, rocky surface rocks 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 along with the sands now let's come to the climate of the region the climate of sahara desert is scorching hot as i told you very uh, in the early uh, very first itself it will be very hot uh, it has short rainy season the sky is cloudless and clear the moisture evaporates faster than it accumulates days are unbelievable hot so these are all very common things the temperature during the day may soar as high as 50 degree c celsius and the nights may be freezing cold with the temperature nearing 0 degree so it's a you can say two types variety you can be find the day temperature is above 50 degree c and night temperature is freezing cold that is 0 degree also so it's a extreme condition you can say let's come to the flora and fauna so you can see on the other side the picture oasis oasis in the desert if we found the uh, stream of water then it is called as oasis so let me zoom little bit vegetation in sahara desert includes cactus date palms and acacia you are able to find those vegetations in some places there are oases as i told you the stream of water uh, green islands with the date palms surrounding them okay in between just like a lake jaise to surrounding with the uh, date palms and greenery it's totally greenery island type surrounding with date palms camels hyenas jackals foxes scorpions and many varieties of snakes and lizards are prominent of uh, the animal species living in this region let's move on to the next slide okay let zoom nahi ho raha zoom out went one minute okay The Sahara Desert despite its harsh climate has been inhabited with various groups of people 
who pursue different activities so you can see the location of sahara desert in the map of africa you can see that entire that uh, sahara desert it is written also in between touching 11 countries so the people they are pursuing different activities among them are bedouins and torques uh, torges they are the different tribal groups these are nomadic tribes rearing livestock uh, such as goat sheep and camels and horses so people they are normally uh, they are uh, depending upon rearing the livestock like goats and uh, camel especially these two nomadic groups these animals provide them with the milk am is missing milk and then hides from which they make leather for belt for the slippers and all they wear heavy robes to protect themselves from dust storms and strong winds so just like a uh, raincoat jaisa heavy robes kapde aisa hote the in order to protect themselves from uh, dust storms and strong wind so if it is strong means to uthega to mitthi nahi udega ude uske sath to kya sand hi udega तो सीधा आंखों में जाता है तो कितना तकलीफ होता है सो दैट्स वाई दे वो सच टाइप ऑफ यू कैन से द कॉस्ट्यूम्स और कपड़े उनका ऐसे होते हैं द ओएसिस एज यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द ओएसिस इन द सहारा एंड नाइल वैली इन इजिप्ट सपोर्ट सेटल पॉपुलेशन सो देन वेर इज द सोर्स ऑफ वाटर so if it is a uh, you can say desert then how the people of those region survive so they survive on the um, oasis found there since water is available the people grow date palms crops such as rice wheat barley and beans are also grown but when it is grown it is grown only during the short rainy season the discovery of oil a product in great demand throughout the world Uh, in algeria libya and egypt is constantly transforming the sahara desert so uh, oil is found over there and oil we are talking about petroleum and on the basis of that we are extracting petrol diesel and all so these are very oil they are required for various things not only for running the vehicles also for the machineries and that's why the even though it's a desert country uh, the feature of certain countries like algeria libya and egypt is now transforming other minerals of importance that are found in the area include iron coma uh, phosphorus and manganese and uranium these are all the minerals they are used in different chemical industries they are also available there the cultural landscape of the sahara is undergoing change a gleaming glass seized of his buildings so gleaming glass seized that means the uh, outer cover is glass building okay glass ka building tower over mosques and super highways criss cross the ancient camel path पहले कैमल पाथ था जैसे जीब्रा क्रॉसिंग था वैसे कैमल पाथ था अब ग्लीमिंग ग्लास टावर आ गया ओवर द मॉस्क और सुपर हाईवेज में सब जगह पे ट्रक्स आर रिप्लेसिंग कैमल्स इन द सॉल्ट ट्रेड एंड चॉर्जेस आर सीन दे आर द नोमैडिक ट्राइब्स ने आर नाउ एक्ट एज द गाइड्स टू फॉरन टूर्स earlier they were only rearing the livestock now they transport themselves as guides to the foreigners so those who are coming from the different countries they need guide to explain the heritage the culture of the africans so now they are doing that job more and more nomadic herdsmen are taking to city life finding jobs in oil and gas operations so these earlier nomadic herdmen now they started shifting themselves to the city finding jobs in the oil and other mills and gas operation this is all with regard to the sahara desert uh, the people the flora fauna and the importance of that region
now let's move on to another desert as i told you the cold desert that is ladakh you can see the location of ladakh that is in india only okay ladakh is a cold desert lying in the great himalayas on the eastern side of jammu and kashmir if we see the picture of jammu and kashmir on the eastern side not on the western side western side if we go then we will have pakistan afghanistan and all on eastern side nepal and then other indian states are also found so it's found over there the karakoram range in the north and the zanskar mountains in the south enclose it to enclose matlab surround kiya hai on one side the karakoram range on the north side and zanskar mountains in the south beech mein hai ye ladakh several rivers flow through ladakh it does um, being the most important among the indus it's not it indus indus i n d u d u s the spelling mistake indus i n d u s being the most important among them the rivers from form deep valleys and gorges you have already seen what is gorges in your previous video long bends several places are found in ladakh for example the gangri glacier so it's a good tourist place to visit the altitude altitude means the height of ladakh varies from about 3000 meter in kargil to more than 8000 meter in the karakoram so the height varies from 3000 meter to 8000 meter that is 3000 meter uh, kargil and karakoram ka range ka jo height hai it's more than 8000 meter now you can see the location of uh, ladakh here in this map so you can see on the eastern side ladakh so okay yeah you will be able to find i think ladakh so if not just check it in your textbook as well due to its high altitude as i told you the height the climate is extremely cold and dry the air at this altitude that is again height is so thin that the heat of the sun can be felt intensely intensely mat bahut tez lagta hai to sun burn ho sakta hai is us place mein you might have experienced also if you are visiting these cold areas or regions or mountains during winter it is just when chilling chilling wala experience and sunshine bhi hota hai to it's just a um, alag experience hota hai so it has a different experience now let's come to the temperature the day temperature in summer are just above 0 degree wow and the night temperature well below minus 30 degrees c that is celsius it is freezing cold in the winters uh, when the temperature remain below minus 40 degree c for most of the time so as i told you is a 0 degree is minimum and sometimes in winters and all the temperature may remain below minus degree now the temperature of uh, anglesher during night is sometimes it is um, uh, 13 14 or 18 in that only we feel we need that we feel that we need some blankets or sweaters uh, hoodie etc but just imagine the condition of people those who are living in the mountain regions like ladakh and himalayas hmm? yes as it lies in the rain shadow of the himalaya rain shadow matlab kya hai ki agar aisa mountain hota hai यहाँ पर रेन होता है कि वेन द क्लाउड माउंट क्लाउड हिट्स दिस माउंटेन एंड रेन इट फॉल्स ऑन दिस पोर्शन ओनली द अदर साइड ऑफ द माउंटेन इट रिमेन्स विदाउट रेन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रेन शेडो रीजन आप यहाँ पर भी देख, देख सकते हो कि एक प्लेस में रेन होता है और दूसरे प्लेस पे रेन नहीं होता है सो so, माउंटेन में ये बहुत कॉमन है सो वेन द क्लाउड और एक इन से 
moisture bearing cloud uh, when it hits a particular mountain and all uh, or it, uh, it uh, the uh, it rains it rains in that particular uh, area only and the other part of rimi it is without rain and such regions are called rain shadow region we have already studied in our previous lesson geography chapter so it lies in the rain shadow of the himalayas matlab himalayas mein pura barish hota hai aur ye himalayas ka niche yahan par padta hai to is side barish usko nahi hota there is little rainfall as low as 10 cm every year now let's come to flora and fauna ye hai nahi hai uska koi meaning nahi okay flora and fauna due to aridity aridity matlab kya hai ki zyada ye nahi hai bahut zyada dryness hai bahut zyada barish nahi hai the vegetation is sparse sparse matlab dur dur hai it's not closer देर आर स्कैंटी पैचेस कैंटी मतलब यहाँ देखा तो इधर थोड़ा सा वहाँ थोड़ा सा बुशी टाइप पैचेस ऑफ ग्रासेस एंड श्रब्स फॉर एनिमल्स टू ग्रेज ग्रोज ऑफ विलो ग्रोज मतलब कि हम वाड़ी जैसे बोलते हैं ना मैंगो का वाड़ी है बोलते हैं तो ऐसे ग्रोज ऑफ विलो विलो का ग्रोज बोलते हैं ग्रोज ऑफ विलोज एंड पॉपलास दीज आर द वेराइटीज ऑफ ट्रीज फाउंड इन दिस रीजन इन फाउंड इन दिस वैली during the summers fruit trees such as the apples apricots and walnuts bloom those who have visited uh, this kullu manali you might have seen the apple uh, or i can say fruits and it grows only in the cold regions and not in this region several species of birds are sighted in ladakh robins red um, star and tibetan snowcock Uh, raven are most common these are the varieties of species of birds found in this region some of these are migratory birds the animals of ladakh are uh, wild goats then wild sheep yak and special kinds of dogs these are the different species of animals found in this region the animals are rare to provide for milk meat and hides we have already seen why these animals are red in the sahara desert now we will be same thing the animals are red for either for milk meat or for hide the people the people here are either muslims or buddhist so only these two belonging to following the religion i either they are the majority people are either the muslims or the buddhist in fact several buddhist monastery uh, found ladakh landscape with their dot matlab found uh, landscape with their traditional gompas gompas matlab unka jo hai uh, place of worship some uh, famous monasteries are hemins she etc uh, in the summer season the people are busy cultivating barley potato peas beans and turnip the climate in winter month is so harsh that people keep themselves engaged in festivities and ceremonies so it's harsh in order to escape themselves from harsh climate they uh, prefer themselves in engaging themselves in festivities and in ceremonies the women are very hard working they work not only in the house and fields but also manage small business and shops so that is the engagement leh is the capital of ladakh well connected both in road and air so that is the capital of jammu and kashmir national highway 1a connects leh to kashmir valley through zozila pass zozila pass so that we will see the zozila pass at the end of the module tourism plays a major activity with several tourists streaming from within india and abroad so it's a nice tourist place too visits to gom pass and then tracks to uh, see trekking trekking 
to see meadows and glaciers witnessing ceremonies and festivities are the important activity why people are visiting to to visit gompa gompa is as i told you the place of worship let me check and uh, once again i'll drop uh, i'll explain a better i'll see the picture in the zoom class gompas then meadows ko dekhne ke liye और ग्लेसेस को देखने के लिए लोग बहुत ज़्यादा आते हैं उनको फेस्टिविटी देखने के लिए भी आते हैं लाइफ ऑफ पीपल इज़ अंडर गोइंग चेंज ड्यू टू मॉडर्नाइजेशन बट द पीपल ऑफ लद्दाख हैव ओवर द सेंचुरीज लर्न टू लिव इन बैलेंस एंड हारमनी बैलेंस के साथ हारमनी के साथ लर्न करना शुरू किया सीखा है विथ नेचर then due to the scarcity of resources like water and fuel they are used with uh, reverence and care um, nothing to discard or waste it to itna unhone seekh liya ki kis tarah se nature ke sath balance mein rehna hai and nothing to discard or waste karna or oh, waste karna nahi so now let's see the zozila pass ye pass aisa hota hai ki just agar kuch bhi aisa kuch hota hai to immediately ट्रक तो आपका जो भी है व्हीकल है तो बहुत नीचे सावधानी एकदम नीचे से खड खड्डी में और खारी में जो गिर जाएगा सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पास ओके यू कैन सी दिस इज जो जिला पास वी हैव कम टू एन एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो यू हैव टू गो थ्रू द चैप्टर रीड इट प्रॉपरली एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व द बैक साइड और द बैक एक्सरसाइज given in the chapter okay thank you for listening to me and take care and keep reading keep studying keep learning and keep listening to your parents ta ta bye bye and take well care of yourself